Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you cannot tell, I kind of just woke up. I actually got up at seven and did my Bible reading and all that stuff. Today is a really big day though. I'm so excited for everything that's gonna be happening in this vlog. I'm gonna be going to Soho House for a brunch event for my friend April. She is launching an April dress in collaboration with another brand. So I'm gonna be going to that launch and then just catching up with her. I haven't seen her in a bit. And then we have our new dining room light pendant from CB2 that I shared in a different vlog that is being installed today. We've got outdoor furniture coming today. I'm happy to be back in Nashville vlogging. My past two vlogs were up in Michigan, which were so, so fun. Seeing Jason's family was really special. If you watched my second Michigan vlog, you know that my family was also up there really briefly. So that was just really, really sweet, but we're back home settled. And last night we actually threw a end of house church pool party, which house church for us is just a small group from church that we've been going to since around February. And we just had them over for the end of season pool party. So they were over last night and I feel like I had kind of lost my voice from talking all yesterday, but all good things. I got a text that the outdoor furniture is on its way. So it just left the warehouse. And then we're actually having a handyman person come to install the dining light at 9 am today because we are not handy at all when we ordered the pendant light from cb2 it had like a little additional section where you could like pay to have somebody come install it and we were like should probably do that because i feel like just us trying to hang up that quilt in the dining room was very stressful and challenging for us so i don't know how we would do with like connecting a chandelier so that's happening. I'm so excited to finally order that light in the dining room, but I'm gonna quickly kind of get ready because I wanna be mostly ready before the handyman comes because I really need to leave at 9.30 to make it to the event like on time and have time to park and not be rushed because I'm very good at leaving last minute or leaving late and then being stressed the whole way there. So I wanna try to like get there a little bit early. I'm not gonna use this today because I want my makeup to look good today and i never try to use new products on days where i need it to look really good i like to try out new products on days where i'm you know not filming something or not going to an event but i wanted to show you guys i just got in the jones road stuff and i have a couple of their products but they sent over a lot of the line and something that was very intriguing is this what the foundation this is a moisture tint and it is in this jar and look at this. It's like the consistency of a super thick moisturizer slash foundation. So this is so intriguing to me. I wanna film a first impressions of it. So I'm actually waiting to use it, but they sent over some eyeshadows, like these eyeshadows. I actually have one of these already. I got two new shades of these like pods. Those are incredible. So I've liked the stuff from Jones Road that I've tried, but I really wanted to do a first impressions video. I just had to show you that foundation because when I opened that up, I opened it up and it was just like a glop of it. And I was like, oh gosh. So I'm really, really interested in that. I want my makeup to look good today. So I'm gonna use my trusted new favorite, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation. My skin has actually been doing really well lately because I got back on Curology. I had been off of it for a while and then recently I had like five really, really painful breakouts on my forehead and I think it actually was the Virtue shampoo and conditioner that I was using because I stopped using that and instantly the breakouts went away. Like I didn't have any breakouts on my cheeks. It was all in my hairline and then I also started using Curology and that helps get rid of a lot of the little bumps that I had. So I've been back on Curology and so far my skin has taken to it super, super well again. So happy to report that we have no active breakouts right now and that's always a blessing. I love this foundation though because it is a medium coverage and it is so beautiful on the skin. It's not mattifying so it doesn't make you look flat. It's just really, really pretty. And I'm in the shade 4.5 right now. Next, I'm gonna take the PowerFlex concealer from Tarte and 
conceal the little breakout scarring that I have. Just the dark spots. Using my trusty Charlotte Tilbury bronzing powder. This is my go-to whenever I know I need my makeup to just look really, really good. I always use this. For blush, I'm using the Tartlet Blush in Bloom Trio Palette. I'm using this corally shade here. And then for my highlight, using the Ilia Beauty Powdered Highlight. Can I bring up with something real quick? Yeah. I just, I found everything but the table, and it's not really heavy, it's just... Jaywaz is our mover today, <laughs> moving all of the patio furniture. We're taking a brief field trip from the makeup tutorial to move this out because we're bringing in a outdoor couch, outdoor rug, eventually coffee table, side tables, all that stuff. As you guys probably know, there's a lot of shipping delays and all that stuff. It's coming piece by piece, but today the couch and the chairs are being delivered. So we have to get rid of the umbrella table. So this is the rug. It's an outdoor rug from Lulu in Georgia. So it's very durable feeling. And we're gonna have the couch sitting along the back, two chairs, and then a coffee table. And then a couple of side tables once those come in, but those are all back ordered. So we're waiting on all of that. But we wanted to go with a more like cool tone rug because the deck is super warm and the entire backyard is pretty warm. So I think it will look really nice because we got some teak furniture to go on it. It'll be a nice like contrast. So really, really excited. Jaywaz has been going this morning, doing all the things, but this is our new light. I think it's gonna look so good. Yeah, I love it. Just like sitting on the dining table, I'm like obsessed. Bye, bye weird lampshades. <laughs> We don't have a light bulb for it though, do we? Well, there's four bulbs in there. But those are so dim. They're dim? Yeah, they're pretty dark. I guess maybe just the shade is dark. I really can't tell. So it's hard. It, the it's red hard shade know. makes it yeah. look warmer than it probably is. But that's gonna look amazing, that little disc. Oh. Oh, move the table. I was just gonna shift it and like against the thing. Oh, okay, yeah, so you can get underneath it. Yeah. Chandler falls and it shatters. Well, not so much that. I just. Her dream shatter. Okay. Finished off my makeup with the Tartlet eyeshadow palette and then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. So, this is the final makeup look. I need to put earrings in. I cannot forget that. We just got news that the light install won't get here till 10, and then the furniture won't also get here till 10. So, I actually have to leave at 9 30, so I'm not going to be here for any of the deliveries, but luckily Jay Waz is a trooper and he's gonna do all of that while I go to the event. I need to pick out what I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna go through all of my dresses. It's a garden brunch. So I'm assuming you wear a dress to it. I'm gonna see what our options are. I really like this one from Abercrombie. I'm thinking this one or this one from Petal and Pup with the open back or this green one from Petal and Pup. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would be very garden appropriate. Jaywaz voted this dress because he liked the flowers on it more than the other one. So we're gonna go with this one. This one has a cute cutout and then the back is actually open and it ties. So garden brunch appropriate. I also love the ruffles on this one. I gotta go get shoes downstairs and then my bag. I should be good to go in earrings. I didn't do earrings. This is the final look. I went ahead and put in these pearl earrings from Missouri. And then I've got my YSL Cassandra bag and these Dolce Vita pearl heels. And they're so cute. I love these. Please ignore my toenails. I totally forgot to take care of those. Also, forgot to do my actual nails. So 
we're 80% of the way there. Okay, I just parked and I am walking over to Soho House. I've only been here once, so I really don't even know where I'm going. I got a call from Jason. He said the couch and the outdoor chairs were delivered and the couch came with a broken corner. So I was on the phone with him trying to sort that out and get that fixed and resolved and reordered. So I am eight minutes late because I had to pull over so that I could talk to him and look at the corner of the couch on FaceTime. But I'm here and he said that everything else looked really good though. The chairs look amazing. But it's such a bummer that that came broken because we were waiting on that for a bit. But I'm hoping that it will be in stock and that we'll be able to get that replaced. I'm so sad. I was like so excited for this. We've been rescheduling the delivery too because it was supposed to be delivered before we left for Michigan. And then we had to reschedule it because we were out of town. And then we finally got it and got a broken back. So the back of the couch, you can't really lean on. You can still sit on it. All the legs are fine, but uh, I'm so sad. Oh well going to go into this event here. I don't even know where to enter through. I need to look up this in an email really quick. This is the outside of Soho House. Say hi, the hi. best little house. Is this the dress? This is the dress, this is the April. Oh, it is so you, I love it. Thank you. And the shoes are so cute with it. Hot to match. just got back home from the event and I'm gonna show you guys this furniture oh my gosh it's so pretty here it is we got these from Lulu in Georgia and they have been amazing we've been working with them on this outdoor furniture so I'm sure this will get sorted out very very quickly but it's got this roping detail you can see here where it snapped in transit so Jason just popped it back together though but they've got these amazing outdoor cushions which will either cover or take in when we're not using it I think he just left it all covered so that I could look at it so pretty though and you can see this really pretty like teak wood. We've got a teak side table coming, a concrete coffee table coming eventually, and then we'll have a black side table come eventually as well. But this is kind of the vibe. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I am in love. Oh my gosh, and I just realized our dining light is here as well oh, it's so pretty i think that's actually a really good height jaywaz was like trying to facetime me while i was at that event and i was like babe i cannot talk right now so he headed up the whole dining light install project as far as like how high to do it and i think it is perfect because we wanted to make sure that people were still able to walk underneath it if we needed to move the dining table out oh, it's so so pretty, I love the little saucer. The attachment is brass. This is brass. And I think it looks so, so good. Hi, were you so stressed while people were installing the light and bringing furniture? Were you so stressed? You just get so stressed when you don't know who's in the house. Yes, yes. You like the new light, Riley? Riley, do you like the new light? I think it's beautiful. I had to immediately throw on this Ophelia and in Indigo dress. This is the April dress. This is what we were celebrating the launch of today. For a little bit more context, I know I was like walking into that event so frazzled from the news of the couch being broken and just trying to sort all that out. But my friend April, who lives in Nashville, did a collaboration with this brand called Ophelia and in Indigo. They're a smaller brand. They actually have their dresses in quite a few different stores 
it online, but they launched their spring summer collection with a dress called the April, which they collaborated with, with my friend April. So we were there to celebrate her signature dress and it is <laughs> So, so comfortable. I am loving this right now because it's like the perfect lightweight, loose kind of summer dress right now. It's so hot in Nashville. And this is just so cute and unique. And April has some of the coolest colorful pattern style, very opposite of my style. But every time I see her outfit videos, I'm just like, how did you put that together? That's so creative and brilliant. And so this dress is definitely something that she would wear. And it's so fun, but I'm probably just gonna wear this like the rest of the day because it's so, so comfy. Also, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to show you this bag from Hobo because I unboxed this and I audibly gasped because it is incredible. This is all leather. So it's just gonna wear so beautifully. And if you've ever shopped Hobo before, you know their leather quality is unreal. It's so buttery and smooth and soft. It's so incredible. So I love this. They have this style of kind of like textured leather in a crossbody, a clutch, a tote bag. And then this one is just a shoulder bag, but I really like the shape of it. And I thought it would just be so cute as a little daytime bag for like if I want to carry my camera or a book or something like that. It's just so unique. Unique. Like I haven't seen something like this. I've definitely seen the raffia style bags, but this is leather It's not straw. So it feels like incredible quality And it's just one of my favorite things that hobo has done in a while now You guys might be able to hear some drums in the background Jaywaz is recording today, but that's not gonna stop us from vlogging. I got this very, very interesting package from our place. Showed up on my doorstep today. It says, do not show until May 12th. So right now it's the 11th, which means it will be live tomorrow. So I'm gonna be good because this vlog probably won't go live for a couple of days. I try to film them a little bit in advance so that I have time to edit all my videos. But if you guys want like real time updates, be sure to follow me on Instagram at by Chloe Wynn. But we're gonna open it up because I saw this and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's like a pot or something because it looks like it might be a shape of a pot. It's really, really heavy though. It says, we can't wait to see what you're cooking up. If you share, please tag hashtag Selena's place on May 12th. My first thought was, is this a collab with Selena Gomez? I would die, I love Selena Gomez, so I kinda hope it is. I don't know who else it would be, but. It does say Selena Gomez. Our place, Selena Gomez. Cooking should be fun. This is Selena's Nana's pasta recipe. Is this a recipe? Hold on. It's a recipe card. So these are little recipe cards on the front. I'm glad I didn't just throw this away. I was like, wait. It says, a note from Selena. I'm so excited to share the latest bit of fun that I've been cooking up. The Our Place Selena Gomez collection. This is a collection in celebration of all the ways that we slow down and enjoy time in the kitchen. We've got the Our Place sponge. Oh my gosh, I've never had their glasses before. These are like the rosy pink purple glasses, really. Thick. And what's amazing is these literally match all of our glasses because our glasses are all different colors. They look like vintage. And they stack. This one is a lot heavier. I get out of the tiny fingers. This one is. Ooh. Is this the perfect pot? Got another little sponge here. So this is the pot, right? <gasps> it's the color of. Her brand, Rare Beauty. This is so pretty. It's this beautiful like wine color and it matches the glasses. That would make sense because Selena's beauty brand, Rare Beauty, is this color. Oh my gosh. So is the whole pot that color too? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Here she is, a little bit dusty from packaging, but if you guys cannot tell, I am obsessed with our place. It's 
kind of the only dishware we use now. Comes with a steaming rack for veggies. So this is what the pot looks like out on the stove. And then this is what the glass looks like on our table. And it totally fits our vibe, these colorful glasses. So update here. I actually just heard back from Lulu and Georgia and they are incredible. They already have the new couch ordered for us. And so they're gonna have the delivery team take the broken couch back. So that is getting sorted out, feeling a lot better. I was worried mostly that they just wouldn't have it in stock because stuff has been so back ordered and we waited so long for these ones that I was a little worried that was gonna be like another couple of months, but I think it should arrive. I'm looking at our pond because last night during our house church pool party, we had tons of frogs coming out of nowhere again, which I thought they were done for the season. They're not done, they're still here. And so we had to scoop those out. We had a couple in the pool before people came over. We had to like quickly scoop them out, put them back on the pond. But they really are not bothered by people like at all. They almost got stepped on because they were basically joining our pool party and like wanted to be very, very close to everybody. So we just learned to coexist with our little frog buddies. Also, I want to show you guys my plants. I need to water them today, but I've got two bell pepper plants that I need to put into bigger pots and then I've got two tomato plants which have gotten very very tall and are desperately also needing to be repotted. But my little tomato plants and then I've got my basil plant that I got at Publix. It's doing really well but this side of the house is like protected from a lot of the super direct hot sun so they have been doing very very well. I am going to remove the cushions on the chairs. I think we'll probably just, not the cushions, the plastic, and then cover them with our chair covers. So Lulu and Georgia does not have outdoor chair or couch covers so we had to order these on Amazon and we just got them to match our grill cover here. But I think it's going to work. It's a little bit big but better too big than too small for sure. And you can actually like tighten the bottom so that it fits more snug. But this is just going to protect the wood because obviously if it rains and stuff on this, this can get all warped and then it can also just, you know turn the color of the wood. Riley, are you already loving the outdoor rug? Oh my goodness, you just made yourself right at home on the outdoor rug, sweet angel baby. You're loving the outdoor space. She's really like, please let me on the couch. I wanna get on the couch. Sweaty day. Ooh, put my foot in the pool because it was feeling so hot out. But these are the covers that we got and they match our grill kind of. You know, different shade of beige, but close enough. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so hot here in Nashville. We just got back from like a 20 minute walk sweating. I was sweating outside in that dress, just trying to like get those covers on those chairs. I am about to head out the door to go to 12 South to do a Pilates class. This is my second beginner's class at Marathon Pilates. And I did a class, I think maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, and I really, really enjoyed it. But I had started with that class and then we immediately bought the house and I was like, I'm not trying to go do workout classes right now when we had just bought the house. So I'm back trying to like get fit again, build some muscle mostly. And I love 
Pilates because you don't sweat that much. It's all just like push and pull with resistance and it's very slow paced. At least the beginner's class is. They probably speed it up once you get better, but I am about to head out. I've got a free people tank bra on these free people movement bike shorts. Love these. Got my Stanley. This is the 30 ounce purple one and I am going to head out. Good morning guys. I believe where we left off yesterday was on my way to Pilates and I actually did film some while I was there. I was feeling very brave. I was like, I'm just gonna set my phone up in the corner and hopefully nobody will notice that I'm really filming. I mean, they don't really care if you film, but I always just feel awkward like filming during a workout class or like at the gym. But I was like, I really wanna show them Pilates because I've been really enjoying it. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I had done one class last year or two years ago. I can't even remember at this point and I remembered really liking it. So I got back into it early this week. The first class that I ever did, so this was back on Monday. It was so good because there was no one else there it was basically just like me and this one other lady and she actually had like some back problems that day So it was like a super super slow paced class very helpful because it was just me the instructor and someone else The instructor was able to walk me through all of the reformer equipment and how to use it and how to use the springs and all the different movements and stuff Prime class to start out on honestly and they actually have an introduction to Pilates class for first time Pilates attendees, but I had actually done it once before. So I remembered vaguely how to do it. So I decided to sign up for the Pilates one. The class that I did last night guys was also a Pilates one class and it kicked my butt. It was so hard. And I think maybe because there were just more people there, the instructor decided to like crank it up a little bit. And so we were basically in like a 1.5 class. Like it wasn't quite Pilates 2, like level 2, but definitely was not as easy as the first class that I did. And I actually took a raised bar class the day before. So my legs were already so sore. And by the end of the class last night, I literally <laughs> was walking down the steps back to my car and my legs were shaking underneath me as I was walking back to my car. But I feel like that's how you know you have a really good workout class and so i have another class that i'm going to go to tomorrow it's a noon class i'm actually taking today off from working out because i worked out every single day this week and it's been amazing i think it's really helped me just like getting out of the house and like seeing people because obviously i work from home and so sometimes i don't leave and i think it's really good to like start my day getting out of the house even though yesterday i did an evening class i kind of liked the evening class as well because you don't sweat a ton so you can actually like go to dinner after. Last night we had some friends over to watch the Memphis Grizzlies NBA versus Golden State playoff game. We almost like impulsively went to Memphis to see the game because we've never seen a playoff game before. Then we had just gotten back from Michigan and then we, we have somebody that we had planned weeks ago that's coming over for dinner tonight so we knew if we went last night we'd have to like rush back home it ended up just being not the best idea to go to memphis we had friends over to watch it instead so the guys actually all watched the game we won Woo. we got to like see everybody using all the new furniture which is always just such a joy i feel like opening up your home and like seeing people enjoy it and use it we always say like we want our house to be a restful peaceful place that people can just relax and just feel at home and we try to you know make everybody feel like our house is their house so it's really important to us I I am now going to be making some carne asada tacos. I used to make these all the time back at our old place and it's just such an easy recipe that you just throw in at the beginning of the day. So it's actually 11.30, which will be perfect because I don't think we're going to eat until like 6, 6.30. So you want them to sit around six hours, but I've got my crock pot out. Crock pots are underrated. If you haven't done crock pot recipes and you're looking for something that is just so easy that you can serve to a bunch of people, even though we only have one person coming over tonight, it's just such a life hack and you just throw it in and then you just, you just leave. Jaywaz went to the grocery this morning, got everything that we need to make these. I'll put the recipe down below. So you need about two pounds of flank steak. So I'm going to just throw this in to start. Then you're gonna mix all of your spices together. So it's chili flakes, cumin, oregano, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt. Then you're gonna go over 
to the crock pot and literally pour this right on top. Last thing, one fourth cup of soy sauce. Put the lid on it, cook it on high for six hours. And then once the six hours is up, you'll break up the meat, let it sit for like another 10 minutes, but it's gonna absorb all of the soy sauce and the vinegar and all of the limes and oranges and lemon juice. And it's gonna be so, so flavorful and just like pull apart. It's gonna be so tender. So I'm gonna let that sit for the rest of the day, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging with me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos be sure to hit the subscribe button i would love to have you back on my channel and i will see you guys in my next one really really soon bye guys, bye guys.